Earlier this week, we took you to the beautiful island of Cozumel. We toured Punta Sur National Park, saw tons of giant crocs, and a drunk bird, and of course, several Mexico squirrels. There's so many iguanas out here. It's like the squirrel of Mexico. <laughs> funny it walks around like totally with its head totally sideways it looks drunk this week we take you to the world's most perfect beaches you guys know the drill get your coffee here we go Brian stepped in dog food this morning <laughs> what happened to <laughs> <laughs> Today we're still in Cozumel. You guys like my outfit? Look like a proper little <laughs> Abby, a straw hat and my driving glasses. Your straw hat with a little bow, polka dot bow thing on it, and your glasses. I'm pretty posh. Yeah. So today we are heading to some beaches on the east side of the island of Cozumel. There's about three beaches we want to try to hit today before we need to turn in our rental car. Oh, yeah. What you doing? So the beaches on the east side of the island are the ones that most people don't get to. They're supposed to be a little wilder, a yeah. little more unkept, not as many beach clubs, that kind of thing, but absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So, we're gonna head that direction and see what they look like. We got three beaches on our list today. One, the first one is Chin Rio, which is a larger public beach. The second one is La Bonita, La, La, La Bonita, Bonita. Um, which means pretty little beach. So um, we'll see that one. And then the last one is called El Miracle, yeah. which is supposed to have like some natural arches and some kind of cool yeah. rock features and that kind of stuff. So here we go. Here we go. Okay guys, so we have reached our first beach destination for the day. It is Chin Rio. It is sort of a rocky, beautiful wild beach. There is, however, like a lifeguard hut here and a few little places to maybe eat or shop it looks like. Almost like, almost like a little baby mini town. Beach. Oh, Tabby found stickers. Yeah. Oh, that cheese. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna wash my foot off and see if I can get it out. to park our stuff. You can rent a beach chair and stuff, um, but we're gonna get in the water, so we just wanted to find a place to park our stuff where we could still see it. We found some tide pools. And they're super cute. There's all these like weird trilobite looking bugs in them, and lots of little fishies. And big ol' waves. Okay, now we love this beach. This has been one of the best beaches we've yes, been in. Yes, uh, my favorite. Rocks, waves, sandy beach. It's just beautiful. Awesome. You can watch these huge Hawaii waves, yeah. but still be in this little lagoon pool that's like totally protected oh, and not yeah. crazy. And it's, 
it's just gorgeous. Water's clear. Awesome. It is really beautiful. Yes. The beach club here is, as far as beach clubs go, it's not super overpriced. It's pretty quiet. It's pretty chill. There are a few more people here this afternoon than there were this morning. There's a couple different beach clubs here, and they're all like pretty chill and less expensive than some of the others. But you're definitely less than yesterday. Um, there's hammocks out here by the beach. There is a massage therapist. You can get a massage if you want. There's not a lot of people selling things on this beach, not, which no. is nice. You know, anyway, yeah. Chinnery is great. It's been our favorite beach so far. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. It's got a great combination of like a long stretch of just pure white yes. powder sand and beautiful blue water. But then you've also got areas on the left side of the beach that have strong waves yeah. coming up for surfing. And then you've got this area of just rocks and like huge yeah. waves beating on the rocks. It's beautiful. Um, and it's all within like steps of each other. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it really is yeah. a pretty perfect spot. Just driving down this East Coast beach. It's absolutely gorgeous over here. Yeah, so we just passed the second little beach we were gonna go to. This is part of it yeah. right here, La Playita. There is nothing on La Playita. It is a oh. big stretch of white sand yes. beach and beautiful Caribbean water. There's not a beach club, there's not a nothing. It's just nope. there's that an first... empty beach with nobody on it. Wait, wait, wait. What happened, honey? I want you to show me. Come here. Come here. Show me how you put your you, oh Abby somehow got her straps to her oh, little. Those are um, very, very messy. <laughs> <laughs> Flip-flops are not the best nope. shoes for this. Nope. Unfortunately, Abby's flip-flop got stuck in these in these holes, and then when she stepped out them up there, it's really sharp, and she ended up stepping on the rock and kind of cut her foot up. <laughs> so when we showed up today, uh, we were pretty much there's nobody, really no one here except for the people who work the boots at the beach. And as soon as we showed up, they started to put out a bunch of uh, Mexico flags for people to take pictures with. Like this one right here was not up when we first got here. But they ran out of here and put one up real quick. I love spots like this. Like my converse are now soaking wet, but yep. it's worth it. Here. Although, I mean, I there's a, there's could, a small area. Yeah. I want, um, but the rock formations oh, yeah. are just beautiful. It's just and beautiful. Climb down in there. Yeah. Yeah. Super lovely. Definitely worth your stop. I've come home. I've changed my clothes and read in my face. I'm ready for dinner. Someone else is still in his underwear. We are dressed and ready. Gonna go get us some dinner. We are 
trading in the Dasha Duster for our feet, I guess. Yeah, I think we're just going to We didn't get our bikes out or anything, so we're just going super old school and going on a little walk. We don't really know where we're going. We're just going to go find a local taquillera or a place for empanadas. There's a million different places to eat here on Cozumel. Oh, yeah. Literally just take your pick of whatever you want. Yeah. As you can see, super, super cheap. So this is like a lamb taco. It's actually on sale today for 10 pesos, which is 50 cents. So all these are like between 50 and 60 cents. You can't, you can't have any of my sandwich. <laughs> this is a first. We had to order another sandwich because mine was so good that I refused to share it. And Martin's still hungry, so. He's gonna get another sandwich. They're making it now. Abby's not a good sharer, anyways. Oh. So I'm not totally surprised. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was really good. I'm really full. That meal was. <laughs> Dude's just like honking his bike in behind you. The empanada dude's like honk honk. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that, that, that meal was really good and it was about 220 pesos that was with the tip, which was about 11 bucks ish, yep. somewhere around there. So for both of us to eat. So what is Cosmel like at the moment? There is a lot of stuff shut down. Is there somewhere to eat? Yes. Is there plenty of good places to eat? Yes. Is there shopping open? Absolutely. Um, I don't know if this is normal or if this is COVID, but if you like to drink on your vacay, they only sell alcohol till five o'clock. If you want a bottle of wine, you better get it four or five. Um, there are a lot of the local restaurants are closed. We walked by several that, you know, the gates are down. They're, they're just not open at all, period. Um, but there are plenty open to have a nice authentic experience of something to eat like we just had. Um, perfectly lovely family, Takiera, cheap, great food, a block from our house, um, perfect. But, uh, and a lot of the bigger places obviously are open, the Hard Rock cafes and the things like that. It did not look like the casinos were open, right? I don't think the casinos are open, um, or the casino, the one. Um, but it's pretty quiet, it's pretty quiet. There are still quite a few tourists here. There's plenty of people at the beach, but you might be like one of three people at one certain beach club, you know? And then there might be three or four families at the next one down the block. Um, but I gather probably normally it's packed at all those beach clubs. Um, and now you kind of have your pick. And if you don't like the one you're at, just go to the next one. There might not be anyone there. Oh, we'll also say about Cosmo. It has by far in Mexico been the safest place as far as like coronavirus procedures being in place. Um, we've had our temperature taken so much in the last two days that um, I could tell you what it was every 30 minutes of the day. Um, hand cleansing everywhere, feet cleansing everywhere, um, much more strong protocols for cleansing everything. Ta tables, chairs, beach chairs, all of the above. Cozumel has definitely been far more on board with all of that than the rest of the areas of Mexico. So we just went into the little store and got some waters um, and something to eat for breakfast. And the little senora in there like was like looking over our shoulder and she wouldn't really talk to us and like was not interested in us being there. And we got outside and realized that her telenovelas are on. Like, it's story time. She ain't got time for us right now. What? You know what? What? Since your wallet got stolen, that just means one thing. What? We've got to go to Italy, go back to, was it Florence? Yes. And get you another wallet. I just feel like it's a must. This is why I married this man. He gets me. 
The eternal constants. Pigeons. Pigeons.